You can look, but don't touch. It's very well managed. <laughs> look, I have my first meatball while you talk about my alfalfa. You see you how easy that? Do you have the duck fat to... Please, can you help me with that? Yeah, well, okay. I, I was wondering what was. No, I am happy. I have the best and professional assistant in my life. You know? <laughs> so, can you turn on the fire and there you go. Let's see, I have a here actually a pound of meat. Wow, this is really concentrated. Yeah, no, yeah. you know, duck fat is something very, very strong. I really like to work with that because after that, you're going to, to feel the difference. You don't, the meat doesn't absorb a lot of fat. It is important, no. And you don't have a Absolutely. so strong smell in your house. This is something that for me is important. Actually, <coughs> when it's Saturday, you know, because I don't want to go out. I never saw that I go out today and not actually tonight. But but if you want to go out at night, she would rather make meatballs. Now, come on. <laughs> you got to give her credit for that. <laughs> What's better on a Saturday night, staying home, making meatballs, than going out to a nice sit-down dinner? Sit right? down? No, I want to go out to dance. That's ah, it. Ah, there we go. Okay, because they okay. have to spend all these calories, you know. <laughs> True, that duck fat is going to be... It's... No, the duck fat is a charm. So, so, explain. I love this kind of... This is a kind this of really mushroom. It's, no, this is not a new. It's no, no, it's a neat. Neat. This oh, is really neat. neat. Okay. Cool. Like, awesome. You know? Oh, now Can I understand. Yeah, cool, yeah. cool. Yeah, no, the, it is. Remember that you sent a picture that you didn't know about? What did you have in your plate last time? Oh, this was it? Yes. Oh, man, I was in Miami and I was uh, having an appetizer with a friend of mine and we had this mushroom on, you'll see, it's actually on my, um, on my blog. I have, I've, I've put it, posted in there. That's and so funny. It, it is, isn't it? Yes. And, and so I took a picture of this because my, my friend and I, she didn't know what it was, I didn't know what it was, she said, you know what? Issa will know what it is. <laughs> so I take a picture and I guess I wasn't quite close enough to it. So two things <laughs> appear. So you don't know. Two things appear in your plate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you were like, like, which a, one? No, which one? No. So everybody knows that this is a kind of shiitake mushroom, you know, it's a Japanese. So I was like a quite sure that you know about that. So I was fixing the other thing that appeared in her play. And I said, oh wow. my God, what is this? And uh, I, I don't know what you have in her play. But something very small, like a and one little of these, green. And it, you look, know, it almost looked like wasabi. Very, very, yeah. Yeah, but because it wasn't wasabi. I don't know. I don't know where this comes from. Yeah. Oh, something, uh, somebody was uh, have a, a rice behind you or close to you because maybe you don't know <laughs> that's like two weeks ago you... okay no because maybe it could be a, a rice but it was the size of the rice so I saw maybe it was something I can't remember what I had for breakfast and you want me to remember what I had two three weeks ago no I don't know what I have for <laughs> breakfast today <laughs> I can't remember anything okay let me wash my hands that Geritol you know what Geritol is? No. Who's that? Isn't it Geritol? No, not Geritol. <laughs> no, no. Ginkgo. 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 What? It's supposed to help you with your memory. Oh. And your sharp. Ginkgo biloba. Yeah. yeah. Ginkgo. So I always tell everybody that the um, the ginkgo is just not working. Ginkgo <laughs> <laughs> doesn't work. Oh great. Because I take it and take it. And I can't okay, you can. Retire. So so tell me no. So tell me about this. I'm, I'm standing here holding this mushroom like. Okay, just a minute, I have to explain that you forgot to put this okay. duck fat and I have to fry this. <laughs> I was heating up the pan for you. <laughs> yeah, so I was explaining again for Michael that normally when you use this kind of fat, it's very unique. So, no, wait, I'm going to take a, a spoon. So, this kind of fat is very unique, so it's, it's good to control the temperature and fry in some small pack. 
And also, you don't want to you know, try a lot of things with that. So you put one by one, because that is important that the meat is in room temperature. So if you put other fat, they don't go to down the temperature. So they can start to cooking. And the idea is just to give a little cross and fry. That's it. And fry, I don't want to cook. Because after that, you're going to put a little bit of time in the oven. So, I'm going to pass this and a little touch of the flour. Because it helps to fry. It gives this, like a, a crust, a, how do you say, a little crunch taste. Yeah, yeah, you know? a little bit of crunch. Yeah. A little bite to it. Exactly. And I, I love that. I remember when my grandmother, my mama, was and doing that at home. And it's a it's different way to prepare a meatball because normally they put it in the oven, you know, and all cook it. And I really doesn't like when the, the, the meatball is so hard, hard and very well cooked, overcooked. So what does the flour do? Does the flour help? The flour, first of all, the flour help to create this, yeah, make the color brown, moist. but they, it's like a, you have a, this little cross okay. around, you know? And also because the, the meatball, with the, the ball like this, the meat like this, they was so wet. So the, if you put for fry, it's gonna, the water gonna explode inside the, 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 the fat, yeah. so it's not so good, so the flour helps to keep together. So, I don't know the temperature, you don't have a thermometer here. So, let me see. Thank you, you are the best chef. Because you know, to take care about the temperature that when you want to fry is very important. Because if you don't do that, you're gonna miss your time, and sometimes you know it's it's not good because uh, you have to always take care about if you wanna fry something like this in this size. It's not like a. So what's the temperature you're looking for? I'm looking for around 375 or 400 minimum. You're blowing away some hot air. Minimal. So you can see here you have you know like a beef, well pork, ground beef, beef meat. You have all the description here, so you are close to the temperature that you're looking for, okay? Take care, take care, don't touch that. Great, let's see. I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna take one, and you wanna see. Wow, you have to show them this. this quickly. Where's your little camera? Oh, we got more. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Where's your little kit? One to one. Yeah, you can take the little camera. I like like this. You see? It's golden brown. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put here. For me, it's perfect. Dog fat, you don't have a lot of smell. It's not so strong. But you're gonna feel and taste the difference. That's it's true. It's so delicious.